Ein gutes Steg, argentinisch. Das ist das Canning Plaza außerhalb von Buenos Aires. Everybody is relieved because all the baggage has arrived. <laughs> Look out! Now we are going to the hotel that is in, uh, situated at two blocks from Main Street, so it's in downtown. Main Street, it's uh, San Martin Street. In the, the main street of the town, you know this town, the southernmost. It's a person type. <laughs> <laughs> Dat de karren voor veel meer en de meer delen van die dagen niet. Dus je alle voor de profiet en dat wordt die Daisy met z'n alles komen en dat wordt alleen die excursie van morgen. Okay, this is the first sailors, the first explorers that came through here after Magellanic, who discovered the Magellanic Strait. That's 1500. Um, as they sail around this land at night, it will fire. The fire will start all around the coast because the Indians will heat themselves during the night with fire. They will go naked during the day or with a little wanako, llama um, cap, like naked, and they will put steel uh, fat on their bodies because they were fishermen. They needed to go into the water and get wet, and clothing wasn't an option. And during the night, they will hit themselves with fire. That's why they call Tierra del Fuego, the land of fire. But yes, yeah, medication is prevention. Seasickness is all about preventing it. Once you're in there, you'll just have to lie flat until we get to the Antarctic Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Our will be led in a way by Daisy Gilardini. She is um, uh, Italian Swiss. Um, living in Canada, married to a great painter, uh, David McEwen. What? This is the main road of Ushuaia. <laughs> scenery but very cold.
Pergi ini bawa aksi nak aku pergi nanti. Kena cara mana box kombi. So these leaves are deciduous. This is lenga. This is nire. And this is evergreen. The name is, is Koiwe or Gindo. No, they're good to have for four years. Sounds like you went to a There's only one of one. Yeah, yeah, I just bought them. <laughs> that looks warm, huh? Right? Yeah. Cheers. Hi, Toki. You can eat your dirt. Yeah. Hi, Christine. Hi. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost six o'clock and we should cast off in the next half hour or so. For us liegen etwa 80 Meilen Wiegel Channel. Wir legen ab. Look serious. <laughs> so how do we get 66 in here? We are now passing through the Drake Passage, gentle rolling waves, shortly before breakfast, first morning. Yeah, a bit wackelig, but I feel mich eben halt nicht schlecht. Here in Gang in Lang, has man a Kotztüten Galerie. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go to the Kotztüten Galerie. Das war sicher Eisbergwarnung. Soll man trinken, wenn es einem schlecht geht? Ja, genau. Die Seekrankheit. Dass das viel geholfen hat. Aber also, Gott sei Dank ist draußen etwas ruhiger gehen wir heute. Rüber zur Chemie. Immer noch die Pillen. Was haben wir denn alles? Wie habe ich das Abend Epanutin. genommen? Epanutin. Epanutin. Und Drei am Super Abend. Rapidab. Gegen die Fitz. An attempt of the uh, the blue sky to break through this cloud. We've got a bit of visibility, a few miles around us. Air temperature, an almost tropical zero degrees. Not quite as warm as the water, which is at one degrees, a blistering one degrees. Wind is fairly light this morning, up around uh, 15 knots, coming in from uh, the northwest. A busy day ahead of us. Uh, breakfast this morning is at 7.30. I encourage you to come up to the bridge or uh, have a look outside uh, and uh, before we do go for breakfast. We did get about an inch of snow last night, uh, so the decks are a little slippery, uh, especially slippery this morning. So have a hand for the, uh, the railing as you do make your way around the outer decks. If you're a part of that uh, expedition snowshoeing group uh, with David, we'll ask you to meet in the bar at about 7.15 this morning. Apparently, most excellent snowshoe expeditions start and end in the bar. We'll see you at breakfast at 7.30. Welcome to Antarctica. <laughs> hungry people waiting for breakfast. Yes, everybody seems to be hungry. 
Robert, tell us, what did you have uh, in your porridge this morning? <laughs> I may have had a whiskey. <laughs> 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 I'm not um, admitting to you. <laughs> you forgot the officer part. <laughs> Robert, just no, say that, please. Just say that, please. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> okay, Thanos. Yeah, two, three. Hey, so let me bear my teeth on that yay for yard. Wat die wil jou sien, en op my jaar is waar. Around um, Zodiac operations, how we get on and off the ship, what to expect while we're out there, and the places we're going. Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk about our guidelines of conduct for visitors to Antarctica. We belong to IATO, the International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators. But whether we're a member of IATO or not is irrelevant. As, uh, as an operator that uh, operates from a country that's a signatory to the Antarctic Treaty by uh, Canada, uh, we have to abide by the regulations of the Canadian Antarctic Environmental Protection Act. Keep Antarctica pristine. Antarctica is the largest wilderness area on Earth. Please help to keep it that way. For the last 20 years or more, and I'm also a teacher. I teach all over North America and, or, and farther, and I teach fine art. I studied fine art. This is two days, two separate days on the Drake Passage, uh, and we got closer to this, but I was asked, how bad does it get? Yeah. Some days it gets pretty bad. Oh my God! No. <laughs> but uh, this here, this here is ice. These little marks. I guess this is a good idea. A right in here, <laughs> up in there. That's all ice. This is ice in the Weddell Sea at this point. Uh, in here, you can see some bigger chunks of ice. Look at the size of that iceberg there. That's probably bigger than Manhattan Island. Ooh, yeah. We're less than 100 miles from the South Shetland Islands, so if miraculously Wait. the conditions are clear, we should be able to see them pretty soon. What's up, guys?
Wenn man sich mal überlegt, was hier an Wahlen abgeschlachtet wurde, waren es 3000 in einer Saison.
Seit 1932 wird hier kein Wal mehr geschlachtet. Es ist jetzt 8 Uhr abends und wir verlassen diese Caldera wieder den gleichen Weg, wie wir reingekommen sind. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Seven o'clock. Was it Tuesday, November twelfth? We're just making our approach to Mickelson Harbor. Trinity Island up ahead of us out of the ship's 10 o'clock position. We can see a small island and just the corner of a hut sticking out of the snow in Argentina by future of this island called Tejano Tide. Off the ship's starboard side, and uh, as we continue to make our turn towards Trinity, I guess off our stern, we're seeing the Antarctic Peninsula, the gray land behind us. It is. We've got low overcast today, still seeing a fair number of miles, it looks like we can see about 10 or 15 miles off the ship's 2 o'clock position. We've got a cool morning out there, just around minus 1 degrees this morning. Air temperature just around plus 1 as well. And the wind is around 15 knots coming out of the east this morning, so a bit of a change in wind direction for us. We'll be going ashore at Nicholson Harbor this morning after breakfast, which is at 7.30.
full head on. Oh yes. So we'll take another one. without underwear might be cold. Island and 
is peering up into the mist is the highest mountain on the northern peninsula of Mount Francis. Off our port side is Wenke Island. One of our thoughts for a landing site today, uh, Des Moines Point, just off the port side of the ship now, we can see the stained snow from the, the jet tube. Winds this morning are somewhat blustery. You might have felt the ship uh, feeling a bit in the wind as we were coming around. <coughs> Air temperature is uh, just plummeted to about minus one, one and a half. Nico Harbor rein.
And an Ar Antarctic turn. This thing we go over the place. To Nico Harbor. This place is notorious for a lot of activity, a lot of um, cabins. Wie rutschen die hier wieder? Ja, süß, ne? Wir brauchen dich, Caro, in deinem Picture. Ja! Yay! Du kannst eine Picture nehmen. Ich muss nach oben, um zu mit Flippen zu machen. Anfahrt Bay at Neko Harbor. It's another Gen 2 penguin colony. And we're on the first time on the Antarctic mainland.
wie sie uns wohl heute Nacht wach halten werden. Tonight we are sleeping out on the island. Mal so ganz im Eiskalten übernachten. Wir graben uns Löcher. Wir schlafen ohne Zelte, sondern nur in Babybags und Schlafsäcken. Morder, Jelle.
global warming, the atmosphere can hold that much more water. Penguins? The, the penguins, all the brush tail will lay two eggs. Very abundant. Come this way. 
Ein frisch umgedrehter Eisberg. These islands are so rugged. Oh, wait, you can.
and you see it. You lose lost a lot of weight, and I had so much skin damage and wind damage, and everything is blistered and swollen and bloody and. have a massive head. Also, the size of the flippers are much longer, thinner, hydrodynamic. The fact that there is some green in the snow here, it tells me that they have been pretty much feeding on penguins. Now, it's happening. Yes! Beautiful!
Decke ist trotzdem stürmisch offen. Schlecht. Wir sind in Kap Horn, konnten nichts vom Land sehen. United Captain Stinder. Captain has arrived to a standing ovation because he's taken us wherever Aaron requested. Hard work behind the scenes, huh? Guys, I just want to tell you it was a great trip. It was a pleasure to meet everybody. I enjoyed it immensely. I enjoyed the trip too. Here comes Guts. He's going to carry on talking. I'm going to be happy to see you on the land. Antarctica was fantastic. The drink was terrible. It was a life experience. And uh, for all the outcomes, it was for me an absolute point. What is so wonderful is that we arrived as a group of strangers and we're leaving as a family. I don't know what to say, but just thank you to everyone for a wonderful time. This was an amazing trip, definitely a bucket list trip. It was very, very beautiful scenery, vast wilderness. After a wonderful crossing of the Drake Passage, the waves and the Black Sea were wonderful, especially when, they bro uh, when the waves broke over the deck. Het is een levensdroom wat waar geworden is. En dat is niet bij mensen met wie je het kan deel nemen. Dat is niet bij mensen met wie ik het anders zou willen deel. Dat is hier een klomp vrienden wat ons hier heet. We hadden een wunderschöne tijd. Het lässt iets in het hart. Sue en Mike Ryan van Melbourne in Australië. En ik denk dat we als travelers we travel a lot, maar deze trip heeft me blown me apart. Dus so, uh, Dick Philby en ik ben de Expedition Wildlife Spotter on board. And 
We've been having such a wonderful time with all you guys from South Africa. Great meeting you guys. I've had an amazing time sharing uh, the experience in Antarctica with you. You were inspiring to me, uh, look into your images and really, really awesome images. So I look forward to come to South Africa next time. And, and In my native language, La Alaskan, uh, i just like to say that this was an amazing experience. I kayaked a lot. I did nothing but kayak. The, the overnight kayaking was the best part of the trip, by far. By far. Kaikki muu oli oikein erinomaista, mutta saunassa oli vähän valjettavaa. A great storm today, loved it a lot. Uh, good weather. No, it's great. I enjoyed the wildlife on the ship. It does get repetitive. And it has been a quite a long time since I don't have this kind of energy and excitement and it's not because of me it's because of all of you i can promise you what you have given me is way beyond what i have given you Dieter and karin ustedes van a venir a la patagonia en dos o tres años así que espero tenerlos en casa que me vengan a visitar y practicar un poco el español un beso grande good morning ladies and gentlemen it's Wednesday, November 20th, 6.30. And to be honest, I feel like I should say welcome to Antarctica. It's snowing outside here, the wind's blowing close to 40 knots. Visibility's uh, very limited. And believe it or not, we are actually approaching Ushuaia, less than 10 miles ahead of us. Folks, we've sailed 1,728 miles since leaving Ushuaia. We've had uh, countless adventures, countless stories. And we wish you a safe trip home, safe travels as you make your way back to your homes. <laughs> Afscheid van die pukkenweine.